Hello friends. Friends, today we will discuss and derive the equation of continuity for time varying fields and steady fields. Okay. So let us start with the discussion. Now, what is the meaning of equation of uh, continuity? Equation of continuity. Now, continuity means which is continuous. Now, it represents, it represents the law of conservation of charge law of conservation of charge that is charge can neither be created nor be destroyed this is the meaning of equation of continuity now suppose suppose there is a surface in between there is lots of charges lots of charges are there and suppose after some time charges are flowing out of this surface okay so some charges will be outside the surface some charges will be inside the surface but it is a conservation of charge net sum of the charges will be equal so this is basically equation of continuity so let us discuss let us write the mathematical equation of this uh, that is the charge flowing out that is the current through a closed surface in some volume is equal to the rate of decrease of charge within the volume okay it means current equals to minus dq by dt that is the charge flowing out charge flowing out means the current through a closed surface through a closed surface okay suppose there are negative charges in some volume is equal to the rate of decrease of charge rate of decrease of charge within that surface there is decrease but here is increase and by mathematical terms current is given by dq by dt so here i is representing the current flowing out through a closed surface current flowing out through a closed surface and minus dq by dt minus dq by dt represents the rate of rate of decrease of charge rate of decrease of charge within the volume okay so this will be our equation number one also also current is related with the current density by this relation j dot ds now what is basically density what is basically density current density is j is equals to current by area current by area okay so in integral form i is equals to i is equals to integral of j dot ds okay j is current density and uh, ds is the small amount of area through which the current current is flowing out and q charge charge is related with the volume charge density by this relation rho dv i have discussed this in in one of my previous lectures so what is rho? Rho is volume charge density that is Q upon dV. So Q is equals to integral of rho dV. Okay. This is equation number 2. This is our equation number 3. Okay. So put the value of current here in equation number 1 and Q here in equation number 1. Basically put equations 2 and 3. 2 and 3 in equation number 1. Therefore, equation 1 will become j dot ds equals to minus curly rho by curly t dv. Okay, equation number 4. Now, apply Gauss divergence theorem. I have already discussed this theorem earlier. I apply Gauss divergence theorem to the left hand side cause divergence theorem to the left hand side of equation number 4 now what is basically gauss divergence theorem this theorem is used to convert volume integral to surface integral for example there is vector a and we will take its we will take its divergence del dot a dv and it will be converted into a dot ds okay after mathematical derivation del dot a dv equals to integral of a dot d 
ds close integral of a dot ds okay so this is the statement equation of gauss divergence theorem in case of there is any vector a now here instead of vector a the vector is given as j now apply gauss divergence theorem to the left hand side so j dot ds will become del dot a del dot j dv so left hand side will become del dot j dv equals to right hand side there is no change minus curly rho by curly t dv okay now two integrals now these are the two same integrals integral dv integral dv they are equal only if their integrands are equal if their integrands are equal now what is the meaning of this if x dx equals to 2 dx these two integrals are equal only if x equals to 2 if x equals to 2 okay it means del dot j equals to minus curly rho by curly t del dot j is equals to minus curly rho by curly t the two integrals left hand side integral equals to right hand side integral if they are integrants these are the integrants if the integrants are equal okay only then they they can be equal so del dot j is equals to minus curly rho by curly t to arrive at this result from this result there is another method there is another method that method is i can share here that method is change the side of the right hand side equation of the right hand side to the left hand side okay so it will become del dot j plus curly rho by curly t dv equals to zero what i have done i have changed this equation its side from this side to this side okay now either del dot j plus curly rho by curly t equals to zero or integral of dv equals to zero now integral of dv cannot be equal to zero okay can integral of dx equals to zero no it cannot be zero okay so integral of dv cannot be zero so what what should be zero del dot j plus curly rho by curly t equals to zero change the side of this equation this term now it will become this term so there are two methods to arrive at this result one is simplistic method just mention that that two integrals two integrals two integrals are equal only if their integrants if their integrants are equal and just equate these result another method the second method is okay use any one of the methods change the side of this term integral of dv cannot be zero it means that this side will be zero this term will be zero okay it means del dot j is equals to minus curly rho by curly t that is del dot j equals to minus curly rho by curly t this is this is the equation of continuity for time varying fields this equation is known as equation of continuity for time varying fields okay now what it physically represents now what is the meaning of del dot j divergence of j that is the current density is spreading that is the current is spreading okay now if the current or charges are spreading it means there is a rate of decrease of rho now what is rho rho is the volume charge density there is a volume there is a volume and if the charges are spreading inside that volume it means the volume charge density is decreasing but the current or the current density is spreading that's why it is known as the equation of continuity for time varying fields this will be used in maxwell's fourth equation now it's sub subheading or sub uh, article is that equation of continuity equation of continuity 
for steady currents. Now, what is the meaning of steady currents? Currents which is not changing. Currents which is not changing. That is volume change density does not does not vary with time. This is the meaning of steady currents. It means curly rho by curly t or d rho by dt equals to zero. Differentiation of a constant term is zero. Okay. So as del dot j is equals to minus d rho by dt, it means ki del dot j will be zero. So this is the equation of continuity for steady current. It means that j is not spreading because if rho is a constant, if volume charge density is constant, there will not be any spreading. So dear friends, this is all about the equation of continuity for time varying feeds and for the steady currents. I hope you have understood. If there is any doubt, please share. Thank you. Thanks a lot.